bloody Australia. G'day, how you going? The land of the barbecue, land of the footy, the land of the oppression of Aboriginal people from day dot, and the land of the Olympics for meat. Well, you know what, mate? I'm from Australia, so I think I can criticise Australia for this absolute mess. This is a little article here. It says, The world's best apprentice butcher is usually out of sight in a store in Melbourne Southeast, hauling carcasses from a fridge and crafting specialised cuts as customers peruse their local shopping strip. Oh, mate, you read this article with such poetic accuracy. But this month... 23-year-old Matt Tycoon. Look at old Matt there. There he is. Not a serial killer in the making at all. <laughs> Have a look. He kind of reminds me of uh, Chopper Reed. <laughs> See, I want to poke a bit of fun at this, but also there's a very serious undertone to this. Look behind him. Like, look behind him. The body parts of individuals who were murdered in a gas chamber against their will just hung behind him. And this is where we are in society. To someone who's like a meat eater, brought up in a meat eating society, like I was, and hasn't analyzed this from a different perspective, has not unplugged themselves from the matrix. This just looks like a butcher, which is a normal profession and some meat behind him. But just switch out the pig carcasses for human carcasses for a second. Here's a person here with a meat cleaver, a massive knife, and some human carcasses behind him. 23-year-old serial killer Matt Tyquin was under bright lights and on panoramic screens slicing through human flesh and loin in a Californian stadium usually the domain of NBA games and pop music at what's dubbed the Olympics for human meat. You'd make Jeffrey Dahmer proud, mate. You know what I'm saying? Like these animals here, they were just like dogs, incredibly inquisitive, curious, emotional beings raised in uh, factory farms, but even if not raised in factory farms, slaughtered in gas chambers against their will. These are individuals hacked up behind this smiling 23 year old. Hey, go on, mate. Cheeky photo for the, for the newspaper. It's fine to carry knives and meat cleavers as long as you're using them on pigs. Don't use them on cats or dogs. Don't use them on human beings, or we'll make a TV series called Jeffrey Dahmer out of you. Use it on pigs who have the intelligence of a three-year-old and who are just, by every standard, conscious, sentient beings, subjects of a life. Fine to use it on them. Fine for the pigs to scream for their lives and for you to pose with meat cleavers in front of them. Taekwon sees his pathway into butchery as an unusual falling into the profession by chance. Just started chopping up animals by chance. You know, just bang, meat cleaver, just boom, straight into the neck of a pig. Here he is, cutting up another. I just got the piece of paper and started my apprenticeship two weeks later. I just wanted to finish that degree. I'm a big believer in finishing what I start, but using my hands to create things is what brings me joy. <laughs> well, mate, have you ever thought of doing arts and craft if you like using your hands to create things? Because what it looks like to me, mate, is you're using your hands to dismember the corpses of once conscious living beings. Look on his shoulder there. He's got the Australian pork. Just recently in Australia, in uh, Victoria, Farm Transparency exposed the fact that after they were going to voluntarily phase out sow stalls by 2017, that they in fact hadn't, and for five years have still been using sow stalls, small cages that they put the impregnated sows in through gestation. So while they're pregnant, they keep them in the cage and then they move them to a farrowing crate where they give birth and their piglets feed off them. So they go into a sow stall and then they go into a farrowing crate. So they're basically spending most of their lives caged. And then they go to a gas chamber, which has also been exposed in the movie Dominion and uh, exposed by Animal Liberation Victoria. So you have a 100% chance of pigs suffering horribly before they die in Australia. The fact that they're killed is an animal rights violation itself. But this is what brings Matt here Joy. Wow. Before we continue with this article, let's look at a bit of the footage here. Let's see what brings him so much joy here. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. Wow. Just hacking in. Hacking into the bones. Look at him. If you put some rosemary on the table. Oh, some flowers. They've got some nice, some nice flowers there. Look at him. Wow. What are these? Organs or something? Look at that. Look at that. It's got a whole side of an animal there, a whole side of an animal. He's even got a judge there supervising him doing this uh, dismembering. Imagine if that was just Jeffrey Dahmer enjoying a nice little bit of human meat. This is, when people say like, oh, animals are treated 
so good in my country to show them this. There's literally a World Butchers Challenge, the Meat Olympics, with their dead bodies. So you telling me animals are treated well? What do you call this? What do you call it? Everything has already been cut up. Look at this. They are moving. Look at the body parts. T-bones or Florentine steaks. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, or maybe it's lamb loin. No, that's pork loin. Look at the beautiful right presentation. I'm not sure. What look at the beautiful presentation here. Just amazing. A few herbs there. Oh wow! Look, they got them in cocktail glasses. A bit of meat and some cocktail glasses. A bit of flesh. Wow. Really good. Jeffrey Dahmer would be proud of this. Jeffrey Dahmer would be very proud. Judges gave apprentices two and a half hours to turn the primitive cuts into dozens of products, showing off their craftsmanship. Taekwin made, uh, if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, I should just maybe maybe pronounce it Dharma, Matthew Dharma, made a uh, human fillet sushi, an Australian style parcel of uh, human meat schnitzel wrapped around human mince and beetroot. My whole body went numb, he said, when he was asked to recall his win. Wow, mate, come on, buddy. Come on. I don't want to just criticize this, this this young fella here. Like, look, he's just been completely programmed by society to see animals as meat. I used to eat cuts from the butcher all the time. I used to go in with my money, go get, get, get him to saw off a bit of steak, and I never saw it that way. I was just so hoodwinked and so programmed myself. I didn't actually see the meat as an animal. It could be cut off the big side of a cow with a saw in the butcher. I used to get big T-bone steaks and I never like thought of the animal in the slaughterhouse not wanting to die. I never thought of the individual. <sighs> so basically, this is kind of like championing um, butchers. There's a massive skill shortage basically globally. When I don't know how many people really want to cut up carcasses for a living, eh? This is just encouraging the next generation of, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer's. So there you go. The Meat Olympics, what do you think of this photo here? You know, it's not a far jump. When you've got a society that enslaves, contains, imprisons conscious beings, stabs knives into their throats, you know, when you have a violent society like that towards animals, it's not a far jump to be violent to human beings. When you lack compassion for non-human animals, it's much easier to lack compassion for other human beings because you're just otherizing beings into groups. They're pigs, they don't matter. They're this race, they're this gender, they have this sexuality, they don't matter. They're a chicken, who cares about a chicken? You know, when you have a violent society like this towards non-human animals and you're born into a society that discriminates, you learn chickens are for, for eating, pigs are for eating, dogs are for loving. It's much easier to fall into other forms of discrimination because the first form of discrimination you are taught is when you are taught to eat the pig and love the dog. Now, if that ain't a schizophrenic dichotomy, I don't know what is. No wonder adults grow up confused, like Matt and like myself. What do you guys think of the Meat Olympics? Imagine if it was the Dog Meat Olympics, everyone would be losing their minds. Imagine if it was the Human Meat Olympics, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer would be giving you a thumbs up from the grave. But, you know, just if it's pigs, doesn't matter, mate, like post it on the front page newspaper. Wonder in a thousand years if they'll look back at this and go, wow, we lived in a psychotic, violent society and it was normalized so much that no one could even see the horrible truth hanging right behind them on meat hooks.